Hey everybody, it's Gosh Jillian and I am in my infrared sauna and welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. So I'm back again, you know, I've not been able to keep a regular schedule doing this vlog just because of my time constraints doing readings and whatever, but basically what this is is I get in my infrared sauna and I meditate and I detox and I sweat bullets and I take a few minutes and I talk about spiritual topics that either I'm dealing with or that I just feel I need to convey so that I remember and so that hopefully I help other people. And so I am really focused on getting back in here and doing this vlog because it helps me so much keep my wits about me. And yeah, <laughs> so today I want to talk about um, managing your expectations. Because, you know, it's one thing we stay positive and all this. And I've been always talking about, ma you know, manifesting through positivity and manif manifesting through gratitude and keeping your thoughts and actions and words and everything focused on positive, being positive and in, grief, in gratitude. And, you know, sometimes that's not either easy as easy as you think. I mean... For example, times will come in where you are either given an opportunity or somebody is um, extending a really uh, an abundant hand to you and you become used to what has been, okay? And... And that always doesn't last or work out. And when you're hit with setbacks or changes to your expectations unexpectedly, it's like, it's like you get knocked down a little bit and you have the potential to fall into a negative state focusing on whatever happened to set you back. Okay. And this is the time when you really have to dig deep and be like, okay, I know this was a huge setback or I know this was a disappointment or something that became very clear that was not or something that was maybe taken for granted when and it shouldn't have been. Whatever the situation is where you feel like you lost something that was really great unexpectedly especially that's when you have to dig in and say okay even though this was a setback I still am very very grateful for everything else in my life and that is especially the time when you should take your energy that you have been giving out there and take that energy and put it back into nurturing yourself for example when say an experience happened and now it's no longer happening all the time that you were putting into that experience can now be put back into yourself, okay? And I'll tell you this, when things change, they always change for a reason and it's always for your highest good in the end. So even though it feels like a setback or feels like a disappointment or feels like a letdown or betrayal or whatever, it's still for your highest good so that you can grow and evolve and learn to focus on the positive, focus on the gratitude and the things you're grateful for in your life, even in the face of challenges and setbacks. And if you do that, and you take that energy, and you put it back into nurturing yourself and, and knowing that you deserve everything in life that's the very, very best, then that's what you will manifest again. And it will be more appropriate, or more lasting, or more significant, or more in alignment with who or where or what you're supposed to be doing okay and so that is my lesson for today because man I don't know I just fell into something and it was like oh this is magical and then it's like wait 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 whoa and then you're like hold on but I had expectations and you also want to consider this <laughs> having ex unrealistic expectations is something you have to be really aware of because when we are focusing on the gratitude and all the positivity, we sometimes tend to cling to the things that are really positive and abundant when clinging is a repellent energy. Anyway, it's a whole nother topic. 
Anyway, managing your expectations by still focusing in on all the positive things in your life and taking the energy that you would have given out there to whatever situation is now gone, you can put back on nurturing and building and, you know, taking care of yourself. Okay, so I hope that helps. I know it's something that I needed to remember today. <laughs> uh, what? Anyway, um, I'm going to be doing a new vlog. Um, I wanted to let everybody know this. I'm going to be doing um, an intuitive tarot vlog for all of the astrological signs every month. And I'm really going to be focused on getting the first series up by before March 1st, which is right around the corner. And it should be fun. And it'll just give me a lot more practice doing general readings for a large group of people, which, you know, I'm really focused on doing one-on-one -on -one readings, which are really profound and people get a lot of insight and a lot of help. But this is going to be something fun and cool. So check it out and I'll make a notice of when it's up. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And please subscribe. I really want to be of service and I'm so grateful just to have the opportunity to put this out there no matter what. All right. So. <gasps>